Welcome aboard, I'm Jason Ovargo, and it's time for another Night in the Woods. You no, know, I haven't really played this game in a long time, and I haven't finished it. And I really like it, and I want to get through with it. So, here we are, about to go into the woods chasing a spooky, creepy, predatory person. Wreathed in shadow, and probably has something to do with all the disappearances, and killings, and whatevers, and arm mutations, and man manipulations, and I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Let's go. <clears throat> Haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. Alright. I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. As soon as the frame rate stops killing itself. Here we go. What the hell is going on? This is not right. Something weird. Something screwy is happening. Hello. Okay. Something. This is not what's supposed to be going on. Okay. Something about resetting fraps seems to have unfudged everything, so here we go. Into the woods. Now, I think this is the first time we've well, no, we've spent days in the woods, but I think this is the first time we've spent a night in the woods. I mean, there wasn't one time where we were spent that, went to that party, embarrassed ourselves, threw up and everything. How have I never been back up here? Fences work. No, people are up here all the time. I came here when I was like 12. What's up here? Just old junk and trees and animals. Or is it? What does it be? Nothing. Nothing? I was praying. Wow. Really? Yeah, let's go. Well, you know, we are just four twenty-somethings who are going into a woods full of monsters and murderers, so... Maybe a few prayers aren't completely unwarranted. There's definitely some, like, mystery ink music going on here. I wonder if we're gonna split up and look for clues and then I'll die! Wow. Gotta put all this stuff somewhere, I guess. You remember this from when you were 12, Greg? Yeah, I was scared of it. How'd they even get all this back up here? Shudder. <laughs> did, she, did she literally just... Did she say the word shudder? What's up? Nothing. Just like, all this old stuff out here. It's here every night when you go to sleep. So? It's out here. In the dark. So old. So old, so old, so old, so old. Dude, hey, May. <laughs> you can stop. I'm fine. No, May is not fine. May has not been fine for a long time. We should go back. This is stupid. No, it's fine. Ghost hunt. Woo, fun. Moving on. I've been told that there's like several nights left. Not sure how I... I'm actually happy about that. Like it's a mixture of like trepidation and anticipation. Because like, oh my gosh, I got so many more episodes to record. But the same is like, yeah, I got more episodes to record. Okay, suddenly it got a uh, little bit freaky. What the... Oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh. It's an actual cult. Oh my gosh. They are actually murdering people. No! No! Ah, oh, hell, he's awake already. Anyone got any juice? What, like a Capri Sun? No. No, guys. Ah, oh, hell. Guys, guys, wait. Lerv, you knew this was gonna happen. You knew at the moment you screwed this whole thing up. It ain't like you weren't on the other side of this before. It was a mistake. I owned up to it. Lerv, this is you owning up to it. Aren't I allowed to make one mistake? Aren't I? Doesn't a man get a second chance of redemption? One mistake? You left a goddamn arm in front of the click clack. Oh, so that wasn't intentional. Okay. Because of you, God knows what's going to happen to this town. Well, people have been murdered, so there's that? That's kind of a thing that already happened to the town? What was I supposed to do? <laughs> Not leave the arm in plain sight, I guess. It was your screw-up. Yeah, his leg stuck. And it wasn't like you couldn't have called any of us. I panicked, okay? I was embarrassed. I sure wish you called me, Lerf. You think any of us want to do this? Guys, we can figure something out. 
nothing to figure out. But, but, but I got a family. Don't insult us, Lurv. You know you don't gotta worry about Genie and the girls. What the hell does that mean? They will be completely taken care of. They'll never want for nothing. He's not gonna budge with that leg sticking straight out. Ah, hell. Dave, Rick, Benny! Guys, you know me! Alright, Dave, you hold him. I'm sorry, Lurv. You know we got no choice, and I'd appreciate if you stopped laying a guilt trip on us. Well, he's... you're guilty, so... No. No, no, no! Hold him still. Ah! Ah! My microphone game can't handle screeches of agony that high-pitched, so you're gonna have to leave you guys that to your imagination. Cover your eyes, Snoopy! Hold still! It's go easier if... Oh, it sounds so so wretched. Ah! All right, he's free. Okay, it's safe to look now. Lerv. Ah! Lerv, ain't no one can hear you this far out. You're just putting yourself to more anguish. And ah! 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 Hell, let's get this over with. I wish you'd just make this easy, Lurf. Well, you cut off the man's leg. What's he supposed to just be like, Oh, don't worry, I'll grow another one. God, his bone's sticking out. What were you expecting? Did you even cut it off? Or did you just, like, lever it out until it snapped? You guys are bad at this. Gasp. <laughs> the hell? Shit. May? May Borowski? Run. Oh, we're all gonna die. We're gonna freaking die. Wait, what do I do? I just jump? Oh my gosh. I gotta actually do this. I gotta do this or we're gonna die. Oh no. This isn't good. This is definitely not good. Oh man. How come they don't gotta jump? This is ridiculous. May, just go around the obstacles. They're clearly smart enough to do that, but no. You gotta be a badass and you gotta, you gotta take these, you gotta, you gotta hop over them. With both of your stubby little legs. Their legs are longer than yours, May. You're gonna need to go a little faster than that. Uh, okay. Who, who just got shot? Did Auntie Mall Cop save us? Did I put too much faith in that? I think, I think May got shot. Part four, the end of everything. Oh no. Oh no, I got shot. Pretty sure I got shot. Nice. Nice. Yep. Dude, you are way better at this than I am. I'm not good at this. This, like, nothing. I still play a lot. Got lots of old games at home. Collect them. I don't know why I gave this guy a solid snake voice. It just seems to fit him. Oh, I've never been over to your place. I don't take anyone there. Secret? I live in a tree. Metal Gear. I'd believe that. I live in a tree so the cyborg ninjas and the patriots don't find me. Okay, well. Oh, oh, it's. I'm playing Greg. I've been waiting for this day. So is she dead? No idea. No response from her parents. Maybe they're at the hospital? She might be, like, brain dead or something. More so than usual. Dude. Sorry, that sounded funnier in my head. Jeez. I don't see the dude. He was outside my building last night, late. Oh, boy. Any idea who these people are? I have zero clue. I can't come up with any explanations that aren't nuts. So who shot him? Why'd they shoot us? Getting dark earlier. Why'd they shoot us? Like, it just, uh, not, so May got shot. Oh boy. I used to skate. I wasn't super good at it. I can skate. I am a skater. It's how I escaped Shagohad back when I had to de-infiltrate, which is the covert espionage word for escape, that base back in Russia, in, back in 93. Uh, skate to create. I do what I like. 
I could use like five naps. Five good naps in one nap bucket. Jump in. Oh boy, this is bad. So May is shot in the hospital. Probably dead. Or dying. I wonder if I'll meet Sir Astral Asshole again. Angus, okay, so got brownies, got sodas. Hey, Cap. Hey, Bug. You making like three dinners at once? Brownies are in the oven. Thinking about making that lasagna we've got and forgot about. We have lasagna? Are brownies and lasagna a good combo? We haven't been shopping in a week. Hun, you should go to sleep or something. You barely sat down in the past 24 hours. Good dinner makes everyone feel better. Someone's got to take care of you. Dude, let me take care of you. This, this stuff I'm doing, this helps me. Okay, that's cool. We are going to make it through this. We are going to make it through this. I love you. Love ya. I love, I, 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 I love everybody here. You guys are all good. You're all cool. You're all cool people. Guys, this is a bad situation. Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. Colonel. Wait, everybody shut up. Is it them? Did they come back to finish us off? We're gonna have to go all like supernatural stranger things, grab some bats and crossbows and rock salt. What? I heard it too. Seriously, what? There's someone standing outside the door. What? Everyone be very quiet. Crap. <gasps> and then there was a dynamic entry. And then there was a fire fight! Who even remembers that movie anymore? Willem Dafoe. Sometimes he's entertaining. So there's May. I am doubtless in some sort of nightmare world. Some sort of purgatory of my own making caused by my mental instability and the fact that I'm dying. Okay. This game got intense really quick. Wait, can I? Are there secrets up there? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just. Bleh. When you're wandering through the hellscape of your own mind, you, you, you get a little distracted by little things. Just wandering through a, a nothingness. Is, is it snow or ash or dandruff? Maybe May's thinking about dandruff. Ah, oh, this is depressing. A trigger and she's falling back down again. Can't go any further. Oh man. Oh man. You know. Uh, okay, calm down. Let's not go into the light just yet. The vibrator is vibrating something hard. Not in a fun way. Whoop. They were, what? God is here. In this room. I believe that. Times like this we can call out and know that our cries are heard. <laughs> While we're here, would someone like maybe to say something about May? Something nice, please. That'd be nice. May is a good girl. She and I explored the stars, and she loved to hear about them. She... I am sorry. It can be difficult. Anyone else? I've always known May as a kid down the street. A little younger than me, but tough. I've been through it in the past couple years. Addiction, jail, rehab, divorce. And I just think it's not fair that May, of all people, should have trouble. Where's the god in that? Where's the higher power? This is all a bunch of bullshit. Thank you, Salma. Anyone else? 
I'll say something. Me, Borowski's always been a menace. And I called the police on her more than once. I hope she wakes up and learns a lesson. That's all I got to say. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. Well, speak up. May was a daughter to all of us on the block. Speak for yourself. Sometimes folks is in the wrong place at the wrong time. I hope you find out what exactly happened to her. I got shot by lunatics in the frickin' woods. Oh, we know. Her friends told us. Yeah, they were out in the woods at night. Down the end of the center avenue. Someone was out there hunting illegally. What? It's a cover-up. They got shot at and May fell. No. No, this is wrong. She must have fallen off a million things a million times. Don't listen to her, Mom and Dad. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy to punish me for coming home early from college. All it takes is landing the wrong way one time. And uh... Oh, well. I hope she wakes up soon and tells us all about it. Yeah. Yeah. See if she remembers it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you could be sure. I'm gonna... Uh-oh. It's the guy. It's the guy. It's the guy who does the things. In the creepy way. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. What's happened to this one? Do we know you? Sorry. Are you here to clean up? Nah, supposed to be fixing a door. Like a doorway to the heavens, maybe? In here? Nope. Okay, so she's gonna be fine. For today, leastways. What? What? Who are you? Janitor. The house is gone. May. Oh, thank God. What did you say, May? It's dead. What's dead, honey? May? Everything. Okay. Now what? We... Uh oh, it's still beeping. This I think I think we're still in a coma. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> Whoa, why am I out here? What the heck is going on? This is not good. This frame rate keeps stuttering. Something is freaking going on with this. Maybe I should have restarted my computer before I recorded this episode, but... Gosh darn it, the story has already snagged me. Why am I out? This must still be a dream. Hey, I'm Mr. Cat God. Uh, I would like it if you would, uh, you know, maybe show up and lend some of your otherworldly wisdom. Crap. Greg. Holy crap, me? It's me. Why did I? <laughs> I walked all the way down. Holy shit, dude. I thought you were going to be dead. Nah, yeah. You came back to life. I don't think she was dead. Pizza party. I'm feeling woozy. You should lay down. <laughs> I think this is one of the first times I've seen uh, B like. What? Actually surprised. You could sleep on her bed. I feel weird about that. How about the couch? Do I have to stop playing? No, the sound is good. Your mom said it's okay to keep her here. I'll drive her home later. So she just like wandered out of her house? Yeah, and all the way here. Jeez. Lucky she didn't pass out somewhere out there. Yeah, where they could have found us again. Sure hope she's alright. Uh-huh. Both of you, shh. No. What? It's less noisy. <laughs> okay. Craig, you're, you're just, you're the best. So how well do you know this guy? We order pizza, what, twice a week? At least. From out by the highway now since possibilities closed down. How about you two are trying to save money? What? Don't police our lifestyle, B. Okay, well, just as long as we're sure the delivery guy is safe. 
I can spot him through the keyhole. If it's not him, we'll turn off the light. And I guess hide here until we die. Alright, well as long as there's a plan. <laughs> I love the writing in this game. Hello? Look who's awake. It's him! It, it's him. It's the pizza guy. Pizza's here. Give me pizza. <sighs> oh, bad idea. So what happened? We call the cops. You're out and some guy fished you out of the woods. You were like in a coma. Did you die? Nah, I just took a very long nap. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice. Ah, Fine, I'll eat that. <laughs> I had this dream, or a vision, or a time traveled. I don't know, I'm like in and out of consciousness. Can you not eat? You should eat. I don't know if I can. Sorry, Mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, Mom. We'll come pick you up. Sorry, Mom. Uh, it's cool. I'm gonna just sleep here. B is there? B is here. Okay. I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. May. I know. Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. I love you, sweetie. Well, that's nice. At least their parents are being supportive, even if everybody's lying to them. Hey, Angus. You want a brownie? I can't really eat right now. Like, I puke, but there isn't anything in there. So I, like, puke my actual guts out. All right. You need your guts. For the moment, at least. I mean, I kind of had some of them shot out of me. So. Yeah. May, you're such a weirdo. Dude, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I guess so. Not really. I was, like, really worried. You were correct. To worry. It was bad. Yeah. Don't ever get seriously injured again, okay? C Stop doing that! It's ruining the drama of the moment, you stupid, stupid controller. The computer shouldn't be talking. It's a movie. Shh! What even was that game? Werewolf Shred the Gnar 3. Wow, I played this at Casey's house, like, Years ago. There's Casey again. I played it. Yesterday. At home. Cool. Can I, like, wander around your apartment? That's what it's here for. Oh, so now I get... Do I get to talk to someone else? Maybe? Let's go check out the bedroom. Let us be. Let's say hi to BB. BB Bay. Baby. Baby, baby. Is there a signal here? Wi-Fi. Okay. I got like a mental map of all the Wi-Fi spots in town. What is it with Possum Springs and no signal? Out here in the hills when we're not big enough to get towers or something. Huh. Hey. Yeah? If we're all still alive or whatever, we should like maybe hang out more. I kind of thought you found me really annoying. Eh. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, this is about as good as poor old May's gonna get. Alright. I think I'm starting to run out of time here. This is July 4th, so it's appropriate that gunshots are going off. In this game, they're probably going off outside, too. So let's hurry this up. Hey, everybody go to bed now! Holy crap. See you all tomorrow. You sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this got anything to do with me. No weirdos are following me around. I will go sleep in my tree and eat some snakes. See ya. Bye, germ. Maybe an alligator or two. Ugh. Revolver ocelot. Hey. Hey, Greg. You awake? Yeah. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? Back then, you said you went all crazy, but, like, that's not really a reason, I guess. I was playing that game where you, like, dated ghosts. I remember that one. It had a hot skeleton. Alistair or something like that. 
<laughs> yeah. You were crushing hard on those dank bones. I was playing like 24-7 until this one afternoon, and suddenly like something broke. It was just like pixels. Your computer broke? No, like reality broke. The characters on screen, like I'd felt like I knew them. But they weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad. Like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just... Me. Alone. And like that realization like dumped me out of the screen and into real life. Went outside in the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by and he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Dude, why didn't you tell me? I don't know. What could I have said? This all happened like the day before that softball game. I mean, I was there in the stands. I watched you do it. I was so scared for you. When Andy stepped up, it was like... And he was just shapes too. Just lines someone wrote and like nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him, smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. There wasn't that much blood. Oh, God, I made him bleed all over the place, Greg. I wonder if you wondered why, what he'd done. He was probably an asshole. No, dude, I didn't know him. Neither did you. Well, then you got to go to therapy. Yeah, Dr. Hankin is journaling. So May is officially messed up in the head. Not just, like, depressed and scared for her future, but, like, truly mentally ill. Dr. Hanks messed up one of my tooth fillings. You should see Dr. Rabbit for that. Yeah, he's not good at what he does. Which I guess is understandable, because he does, like, everything. I meant to ask you, did that journal shit, did it actually work? Kinda, sorta. It helps me, like, grab onto things and keep them in one place. Whoa. But since that whole thing happened back then, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes like back at the softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. College is for losers. Dude, listen, okay? Sorry. I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of, like, the founder of something. A really shitty statue, like all rusty metal. And it was these shapes. And he was pointing down at me. And I was so scared. I didn't leave my dorm room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just to sleep all the time. Dude. And finally I got up the courage to leave. And I came home where everything was fine. She destroyed the statue first though. Where I knew everyone, and it wasn't just dead shapes watching me. Jeez, dude. Something broke in my head, in my life. Dude, you should have called me. I could have come and rescued you. We would have, like, kidnapped you. I couldn't call home either. I couldn't even talk to anyone. I don't even know why. I didn't even come home for longest night. I just stayed in my room. In bed. That's horrible, dude. I, I thought when I came home, I just... I felt so safe here. And everything made sense for a few days. And then all this. And... Eh. Dude. Shh. You're gonna be okay. I'm so scared, Greg. I know, dude. We're all freaked out right now. You need to sleep. I'll be here all night. I... I love you, Greg. No. 
I like to think that's how Greg actually stories. He goes. That just seems like it just fits him so perfectly. <sighs> so May just has she can't relate to people unless she's known them for years and years. She's scared of them. She's scared of people. She's scared of life. She's scared of like everything. She's scared of losing people and she's scared of knowing people. Bye guys. Love you. Hold on. What? The hole in the center of everything. Why? Why are we going back to the woods? Do I have enough time to do this? Why are we going back to the woods, May? Why are we going back to the woods? Who the hell is that? 